y'all with another video another diy video that is so i'm really excited for this one y'all already seen the title and the thumbnail that's why you clicked on this video so you know i'm not really finna explain it but yeah we're just going to get into this video if you're new don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when i post a new video because trust me you're going to love my videos but anyways guys let's just get straight into this Okay, so y'all know how when y'all in the dollar store, you know, you're just shopping around or whatever, and you just see that little, tiny little section where there's just clothes and just knickknacks and stuff, but you really don't venture over there, you know, too much or too long. So, I was just, I was just in there, and I just happened to just walk through the little clothing aisle, and you know the stuff is always real cheap, either ten dollars or under. You know they clothes ain't too expensive. It's the dollar store, so this just happens to catch my eye, and for one, it caught my eye because it's pink, and I love pink. And number two, the material, like I just love it. Like I, I just love it. Like the color. I have a red shirt like this that I just love. And I just like, how could this not catch your eyes? And it's just so many possibilities I could do with these because they're big, they're short, and they're really big. And you could do a lot with this much extra fabric for somebody like me who's, you know, I could fit my whole body in one side of these shorts. So, I mean, yeah, I have pretty, good amount of fabric here and the first thing that came to my mind when i seen these was a skirt because the little frilly things on the bottom super cute so yeah don't mind all these little pins and safety pins and stuff y'all basically get the idea so y'all know what i'm gonna do with this so y'all know what i'm gonna do with this before i know what i'm gonna do with it so yeah let's just let's just do it Okay, so this is what they look like. Like I said, really, really big. And they're kind of on the shorter side. And I didn't want to, you know, try to do too much since it's already kind of short. So this is what they kind of look like. As I told y'all, the material is really cute. And also, I forgot to mention that this came in a set with a shirt. It has like the um word love on it written in this type of material so yeah y'all see that later but these are what the shorts look like so here's my idea of what we're gonna do so this is why I have all these safety pins and whatnot so basically I'm gonna do a wrap skirt see how it came together like that and I'm basically going to pull this material under to make it tighter like that and then i have this little pinned up thingy over here where i pin it so yeah i'm just going to show y'all how to do that and how to do this and trust me you can find some shorts like this anywhere like any dollar store they have some type of shorts some type of something like trust me every every good dollar store has clothes like this so, trust me, you'll be able to get your hands, not this exact fabric, but, like, you'll find something kind of like that. Like, trust me on it. So, I'm just show y'all how, you know, to sew it and do all that. Type. Okay. So, I know it might be a little hard to see because of the pink on pink. But, basically, you want to have tried this on like I did. It's as simple as taking one side folding it to the other side making it as tight as you want it and that's pretty much it so when you do this you see I put a safety pin where it's folded it, so I wouldn't have to go through that process again and I also pin this down for a like a like a straight seam because I didn't want it to be bumpy like that like this so I wanted it to lay smooth. Got me? You got me. And also I'm trying to do this from the side. So just stay with me. Stay, stay, stay with me. And then 
I also put a pin there where this should go. So when you try this on, just take note of all these pins so you know where everything needs to go. So then, it might be a little loose, but it might not be. Depends on how big your shorts are. But mine's were a little loose. So I pulled in my fabric where I took it under this. I tucked it under this and I put safety pins where I needed it to go. Like that. I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. I just took the remaining fabric that you know was a little loose and just hit it under there and put pins. And then as for my little, little thing over here, I basically just folded it, folded it, and put a pin. That's it, I just pinched it and folded it. That's it, simple. So at the bottom, you want this to be longer than this. Sorry if the camera's wobbly, by the way. So you want this to be longer than this. So I put a pin right here too. And that's where it would be at, right there. So yeah, just take note of all of this when you try on your piece. So now we're gonna move on to sewing it. Okay, so here's an important tip. Make sure that when you try this on and you're doing all the fitting and stuff, that this little butt line here, where the two shorts come together, is always lined up with your butt crack. Please, you don't wanna do all this work on the front, measuring it and stuff. Then when you try it on and you turn around, the line is way over here. And it just, 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 no. Just don't okay so next you're gonna need to turn them inside out right and you're gonna find the back this time I found the back and we're gonna have to actually turn this into a skirt that's like the most important part here can't forget that so you're gonna want to fold them like if you're going to iron some like grab them as if you're gonna iron them and we're gonna locate the crotch it's a little weird because these shorts are shaped weird but this is basically it so you just want to do a straight line straight down going from the curve straight down to the bottom and that's where you're gonna sew so you can cut off this extra material if you want to but I'm gonna leave it since this skirt is already pretty short I think I'm gonna just leave the short this in the middle just to give me coverage it's gonna be more like a skirt than a skirt but you can always cut yours off if you just don't want it there but I'm gonna leave mine for coverage and yeah let's just take it to the sewing machine so this is the part where I wrapped it and folded it the part that I said needs to be flat so I'm basically just trying to sew it as close to the edge as possible to make it as flat as possible and like I said it should be hanging off the edge a little bit so that's all you really have to do for that so what I'm sewing right now is the end seams that I said would turn this into a skirt. So like I said, you just need to sew a straight line from the curve down and make sure you backstitch everything. Okay guys, so this is the part the overlapping part that i sewed in the front and i basically just tried to cut it just whatever i wasn't trying but i tried to keep it you know at least a half an inch away from the seam so you know don't let it come unraveling because you know i couldn't just leave that extra fabric in there so what i did because you know i said i wanted to keep the shorts at the bottom was i cut in an l shape to keep from going straight down and then end up cutting the shorts off. So I cut in an L shape, which was like a half 
not half, like three or so inches away from the bottom. So this is the back. And I sewed up the little line. So here's the shorts at the bottom. So I'm going to pin about an inch or two on both sides, just so I see it. So if you do see something, you know, you won't be able to see nothing. And then I do the same for the other side and that's basically it and you're done. So yeah guys, this is the end result and I hope y'all like my little pattern that I kind of just free balled or whatever but yeah, this is basically the end result and I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know if this is cute or not. Leave me a couple comments if you don't mind. And yeah, I'm gonna see you guys next time. Oh my gosh, my shoes are so squeaky. But let me see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>